impact on accounting equation okay paid rupees 500 towards salaries again as usual let's first write down the accounting equation assets is equal to liabilities plus capital okay now this one is interesting so please note it carefully what has happened we have paid rupees 500 when you have paid rupees 500 what will happen cash which was available with you here is going to reduce cash is what an asset right if you look at the details given to you you have a starting balance of cash which is 1500 planned 500 and capital 2000 ideally you should just have a quick look to see that these are balanced in case the totals are not given so given that 1500 plus 500 is 2000 and this is 2000 we move forward so when you pay rupees 500 towards salaries you are paying what you are paying a cash cash is what an asset right and what happens to cash when you make a payment if suppose I have 500 rupees and I give it to you from my perspective what will happen my available balance will reduce right so the cash is going to be reduced by how much 500 because that is what I am paying so I will reduce cash by 500 my original balance was 1500 I have paid 500 so what I am left with is 1000 right now similarly when I pay this 500 so there's an impact on the asset side what impact it's getting reduced right now what is the second account which is getting impacted if you notice I am making a payment on account of salaries okay normally whenever you pay anything salaries is basically an expenditure okay and I mean you are going to obviously learn about these in detail as you move forward with your accounts this is one of the very basic things whenever you incur an expenditure okay that is going to basically increase your loss there will be incomes also but currently we are not considering the income so I will tell you this right so let me tell you an example let's say for example you bought apples at 100 a kg and you sold it at 110 a kg I'm not saying you're an apple vendor but just take this for an example so the payment that you make you basically reduce from the income that you get okay so 110 minus 10 100 is 10 this is your profit but this otherwise would if this income was not there then what will happen you will say oh I have incurred a loss of 100 rupees right similarly salaries is an expenditure and an expenditure basically increases the loss whenever there is a loss the capital contributed by the person is reduced why I mean let's say for example in this very example I had 500 rupees okay and I spent 100 on apple and I didn't get anything let's say because it went rotten so instead of 500 now what will I have I will reduce this hundred my money will reduce from 500 to 400 similarly when you do incur a loss the capital is reduced reduced by how much by the amount of expenditure now in this case what is the expenditure I have incurred 500 rupees so my capital will get reduced by 500 2000 minus 500 1500 the other way to look at it is I mean that's not the correct way but in any case if you are unable to identify the logic the fact of the life is that if the asset side gets reduced assuming the accounting equation holds true the liability should also be reduced the liability side I should say not the liabilities right so when you pay salaries you've paid in cash so obviously you don't need to make any further payment to anyone the only account which is left to get impacted is capital so capital should be reduced by that amount if the asset side is reduced by 500 the liability side also has to be reduced by 500 again do the total for these two sides 
plant and machinery comes as it is 1000 plus 500 1500 this is in any case 1500 right with that i come to the end of this video if you like it please hit the like button at the bottom of this channel okay or in the website if you like this and you want to help our cause of creating an educated world please share this video on whatever social medias you want you feel like but only if you like it if you don't like it please don't share it instead you will be kind enough to send us a feedback as to what it is that you did not understand and we'll be more than happy to address it you can leave your comment in the comment section or send us an email at info at iedubook dot com with this i am signing off this is arinje your tutor for this lesson have a happy learning ahead and wish you all the success in life thank you very much